What's going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Now this move, which I just showed you, I actually call it the Tatsulo because it was created, well it was first seen by a freestyler called Tatsulo in around 2006, quite a long time ago. So before we get into it, this is what it looks like. the move is quite a cool move actually it all happens in one go and it looks very very flashy now before you do this make sure that you can do a crossover if you can't do a crossover we'll put a little link somewhere learn the crossover if you can do it you are ready for the first step so here is the first step you're gonna hold the ball on your foot and when you're ready you're just gonna throw it and then back up now this isn't the move itself but what we're doing is getting used to that motion of flicking it up from one foot. Remember, this is all on one side, under the ball, with the same foot back into your hands. Let me show you one more time. So on the foot, up, and then catch the ball like that. So once you've got used to that, we're gonna learn the flick part. Now the flick is the bit that pops the ball from the floor up into the air. So the flick bit, you're just gonna have it onto your foot like this, flick, and then back. So it's reasonably easy to do actually. Up, and then catch. Now, just to get used to your control, rather than use your hands, I would maybe do a few kick-ups first, then catch it, then flick it. Catch it, then flick it. Okay, now we're gonna take it to the next step. So once the foot has the ball under control, just like that, you are gonna flick it, but you're gonna jump. That was a bit naff, let me do that again. So you're gonna hold the ball, and you're gonna jump as it comes up. Now, it feels a little bit weird, because you're kind of jumping up in one motion. But the reason we do this is because afterwards we're gonna flick under this foot. So on here, just get used to flicking. On here, just get used to flicking. So it does feel very, very strange, but it will get, you will get used to it. Final part, this is the final bit of the move to make it all come together. Ball is gonna be on the foot. As you flick it, you're gonna be crossing over with your opposite foot. So for me, it's my left foot. All the move, all the power comes from my right foot, comes across in my left foot. So I'm gonna hold it, across, and then back. Now, don't worry if the ball goes flying or you'll miss it. That happens, that is normal. Sometimes, when I'm doing it, even today, if I get it wrong, I sometimes don't get the pop and it goes forward. That is normal. A little tip for you, do it in front of a wall so the ball keeps coming back. And another thing might happen is the ball might get kicked with your opposite foot. That is normal as well. So maybe practice in a small space so you're not always chasing the ball. If you're in the middle of a field, it can be a little bit annoying because you're always chasing the ball. So maybe go in front of a wall and just practice it over and over again. Let me show you a few more. So on the foot, across, back. Try and be as relaxed as possible. So if you rush into it, you'll kind of lose your power. You almost want to get a flow and a, a nice rhythm on the ball. So it comes up, pops over, comes up, pops over and if you put all those steps together you will have it trust me break it down watch some of the slow-mos go over it practice the main thing is to get out in the garden or the driveway give it a go I'm sure you've got a ball at home make sure you practice it's the only way to get good at freestyle okay so if you've got the move here are a few advanced variations That is a move made famous by the Japanese freestyler Tatsulo. Get out, give it a go. It's a bit tricky, but if you put the time in and you put the practice in, trust me, you will get it. So if you like this video, drop us a like, leave us a comment, and of course, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. See you next time.